Good morning, everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. A beautiful, sunny day in Oklahoma. We are on historic Route 66 right now. You can probably see I-44 parallel to us off to the right. A lot more people on that one than this one. And right here, it's, well, it's basically five lanes. Although underneath this road somewhere is original hand-laid brick road nine or 10 feet wide, probably in the middle lane over there. It's crazy. Sadly, today is actually my last day on Route 66. We're gonna be changing things up in my next video, so let's have one more awesome day in Oklahoma City today as we get into town. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's get this day underway. everyone to Chickasha, Oklahoma. I need to be in the other lane. Chickasha. It's got a nice ring to it. Like, like, a, like a chimichanga. Chickasha. We need to turn left at the light. Just looking to see if I can see it yet. Been wanting to come here for a very long time. I know a lot of my viewers watch my channel and they probably get ideas or they, they, they see a video or a picture on Instagram or something. They say, man, I, I can't wait to go see that when I'm in that area. Well, I've been saying that for a couple years now, ever since this was brought into the town. And I actually don't know if it's here year round. It might be a seasonal thing. We might not see anything. And I'm really, really hoping that it's here year round. Oh my gosh, it's right in front of us guys at the end of this road. Can you see this? Can you see what I'm seeing here, folks? Unbelievable. The best Christmas movie in the history of Christmas movies, A Christmas Story. And why not have a huge freaking leg lamp? Yes. Let me find a place to park. So here's the deal, guys. I just talked to a, a gardener here that's working on the property here. A couple years ago, I saw the posts. It was a giant inflatable leg lamp, and it was temporary. However, because of the popularity of that here in Chickasha, they now have an actual permanent giant leg lamp here in the park, and they are adding to the park. They're going to, behind me over here, they're gonna be opening up a gift store here that opens in June. In June, you will be able to walk into this old train depot building, converted gift shop to buy souvenirs and magnets and postcards and things of that nature. They are also going to be building the property all the way back to the other residents over there. So this is not only a work in progress, but because of its success and tourism coming into Chickasha, Oklahoma, they are adding to it, which is always a good thing. I look, I'll bet you when they built this, they used up all the glue. <laughs> it's a major award. Please tell me that the leg actually lights up at night. <laughs> well, actually, I can see some lights that shine down on it. I just don't know if the leg itself li lights up. Wow. It is awesome. Fragile. A beautiful sight. I apologize. The sun is not out here in this part of Oklahoma yet, so it's a little washed out on camera here, but... All right, but we still need to know, yes, exactly, why a leg lamp in Chickasha, Oklahoma. If you guys wanna scan that on your phone so that you can read the entire article. So Nolan James, uh, the creator of this, uh, passed away in 2020, which was when the inflatable version of this leg lamp premiered here and it won several awards, major awards, and got a bunch of international attention. Uh, and so that's what inspired this place to actually make the permanent version here. However, if the Grady County Museum was open here in town, we could stop in there and see the original prototype leg lamp that he built for the 1983 movie. It is here, it is locked up. The one in Cincinnati, Ohio was just a replica there uh, at, at the home. The actual leg lamp, the surviving one is here. We just cannot see it today because the museum is closed. Still pretty awesome though, I'm so glad I made it here. All right, I'm parked in Oklahoma City, and you know how I feel about 
big cities and traffic and stuff. I'm just glad the RV is now parked. I've got the air conditioner running off of solar right now. Let's see how much we're drawing. Well, even with the 1280 watts on the roof, we are still drawing negative 330 watts, which means this will not last all day on solar alone. It is slowly draining my batteries. Even with full sun, yeah, 93.9%, and that will continue to trickle down today. But it's a relatively free way to cool the RV and keep the kitties comfortable while I'm out. And then later on tonight, if I continue to run it all day, I'm gonna have to fire up the generator to start back up. Ideally, what would, would be great, I'll show you outside. As you can see, I picked another uh, Cracker Barrel here in Oklahoma City, and uh, there's where Tater Tot's at, but Remember what I showed at Robert's place, if I had a power station out here and my power cord was plugged into the power station and then I had solar panels, which were also charging the power station, giving me more power combined with the roof stuff, then I could run my air conditioner nonstop all day and my batteries inside the RV would stay at 100%. But I, I can't do that in a public place like this because somebody will steal all my stuff that I leave outside. So we got to do it this way for now. I want to go look at some fun stuff in Oklahoma City. Riding around in my lifted smart car. I've got it in automatic manual, so it is it is shifting normally, like stock normal manual shifting, not reaching over and shifting at the certain RPMs. I'm okay with it. It does shift at a higher RPM, but I'm, you know, it still gets me there. It still works, you know. So what are we gonna do in Oklahoma City if we're not doing Route 66 stops? Well, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna freestyle it like I normally do. Uh, the front wheel wells of tater tot are still rubbing somewhere on really hard bumps like it's compressing so much that some part of the tire is hitting some part of the car on both the left and the right side so still got some trimming and investigating uh, to do on the car maybe we'll take care of that when we get to arizona but it may be a world's largest roll of toothpaste and toothbrush with bristles this is a small world pediatric dentistry and uh i love it Nicely done, nice toothbrush, and those bristles almost looks like they could be L like LEDs or fiber optics or something at night. Well, I don't know, but I like it. What are you trying to say though? Do I need to go see my, my dentist? I don't even have a, like a normal dentist. It's hard on the road. I need to, I need to get some, some more of that insurance and dental stuff that's good for nationwide PPO or maybe that's something I can take care of this summer uh, when I'm back in Arizona. Do something in Cholo, maybe. Got some health concerns, nothing, nothing crazy, but I've got a few health worries of my own that I should probably take care of, you know. Would love to get my weight under control, Eric. We need to work on my diet. Number one, diet. I am... I'm feeling it, guys. Yeah. Interesting. We're at the India Shrine Center, but I could have sworn it just crossed over into ancient Egypt. They've got not one, but four Sphinx statues here at this place. They got this one. They got this one. Oh, there's a plaque. What does it say? Erected 1999. Oh. So it might not actually be ancient. It could be a little newer, actually. Yeah, it kind of sounds like fiberglass. And then they've got two more at the other entrance down there. But yeah, very cool replicas then. Yeah, there's the fiberglass. You can see it breaking through on the top there. Okie dokie, don't know, just don't say anything, Eric, because you're really bad at geography. Egypt and India, are they close? I don't think they are. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I feel like, okay, Google. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. How far from India to Egypt? 2,954 miles by car. So probably not anything to do with ancient Egypt. Good to know, sorry about that. Hey, Oklahoma City University here. Beautiful university property. Um, might be something special about the water here or something because you wouldn't think it, but at least I wouldn't. But this university popped out not one, not two, but three Miss America 
champions here. And here's a little statue of all three of them. Their names? This is Susan Powell, Miss America 1981. Behind her, you got Jane J. Rowe, 1967 Miss America. And up front here, Chantel Smith, 1996 Miss America. And the date range is decades apart. So, I mean, uh, must be something special about the uh, beautiful women here in Oklahoma City. Nicely done. Whoa, look at that big gold dome over there. That is, I don't see anything written on it. I don't know, it's art guys, it's art. Oh man, look at this huge uh, bottle of milk here. It says Oklahoma's Milk Brahms, but I know Brahms is ice cream. So I wonder, now I want some ice cream. <laughs> Okay, one Route 66 thing, kind of by accident. I'm looking for ice cream, but we're back on Route 66. It happens to be uh, two lanes here of the Mother Road. This is the 1926 alignment of Route 66. It has an old theater across the way. What is it called? The Tower? Nice. And <laughs> this looks a little newer. Welcome humans to the Uptown 23rd District. Uh, here, 23rd. Uh, takes over Route 66 for modern time. That's a nice looking robot, actually. Robots on 66. This is the RT-19 robot, a tin toy replica from post-war Japan, reminiscent of the 1950s and glory days of Route 66. Yeah, I remember those old metal toys. That's exactly what that looks like. Must find ice cream. It's too hot. Needs ice cream in my belly. Hey, Paycom Center. That's where the Oklahoma City Thunder have lost more games in that building than any other team has lost in that building. And they stole our supersonics from Seattle, so. <laughs> Medium chocolate frosting. Got you, thank you, we're done. Thank, thank you. It's kind of ice cream. They really like, look at how bulging the lid is and everything. Like, yeah, I love me some, some Wendy. Look how thick that is. <laughs> now that's small cream. Heck, I might need a fork with this. Nope, spoon works. Mmm. Mmm. It's my cheat day. Every day's a cheat day on the road. It's so hard to eat healthy on the road. It really is. Mmm. I feel better. Mmm. That's delicious. All right, that's enough for me enough of Oklahoma City for me. Got to get back to Cracker Barrel, check on the kitties and the air conditioning, uh, the batteries. Probably, it says 98 on my dash. It was not supposed to be that hot today. Sometimes it's off by a couple degrees. Let me check. I'll check when I get back. Home sweet home. Well, it emptied out here. There's Frida. Aww. Oh, Mr. Marvy. I miss those kitties. Go see how they're doing. Hey, Opie. Oh, you staying cool? The AC is still on. That's good news. Let's check. Oh, yeah. 64.5%. We've lost a lot of that sunshine. Because it's 420. And we're going to run out of sunshine anyway. So let me check the temperature also. Oh, geez. 110 degrees. You can't see that. 110 degrees Fahrenheit in the compartment. So believe it or not these fans are definitely doing their job they are blowing hot air but sometimes when there's extreme heat you might want to pop this open for some more air the only problem is then the fans are up here doing nothing essentially so i've got that compartment dangerously full of stuff i'm gonna leave it open for like five or 10 minutes and just see if we can get that 110 to come down. If it doesn't come down, then it's probably better with the fans, you know? I don't know if you can see this, but 10 minutes later, we are now at 112 degrees, two degrees hotter. Even though I know that doesn't make sense that those two little computer fans can do that much, 114 now, it's getting hotter with the door open. So I'm gonna close the door and let the fans do their job and just trust that it's gonna work. Opie, did you miss your dad? Man, I slept the whole time. It, it was okay and stuff. Oh, Terra Bear. I missed you too, girl. What a good girl. What a good ham boy. So, goodbye, Oklahoma. Gonna be getting into Texas in our next video, guys. Yeah, be well.
I'm gonna take a little break tonight. We'll see you guys in a few days. Bye-bye.